Really, Nathan? A whole last week? You can't text nobody back? Nathan, don't be pressed. Don't be pressed. You're not pressed. Boy, I'm from Florence and Crenshaw. Don't blame me. How can I play somebody who orders crawfish tail and collard greens like this isn't a date? Oh, this is a date? Mm hmm Maybe I'm too sober to notice. You out here looking crazy in pajamas. You got me looking thirsty. <laughs> Andrew, hey! Hey. Welcome back to another Wine Down This Week. Today we're joined by writer, co-producer, actor, the multi-talented hyphenate, Natasha Rothwell, who you all know and love as Kelly. Yes, Kelly has always been a ride or die. And in this episode, Ready Like, we see her start to feel some jealousy towards Ooh. Tiffany and her new pregnant friends. Is there trouble in paradise? I mean, when your friend makes a life choice that doesn't include you, it can make you feel a type of what? One of the most interesting things that we talked about in the writer's room was just exploring this dynamic between friends. When a baby yeah. comes along, when there's a life change, yeah. things change inevitably. Yes. And one of the things that we've seen for Kelly and Tiffany's relationship is that they've always been closer friends than um, Issa's been to either one of them and Molly has been to either one of them. Yeah. So talk about just where Kelly and Tiffany's relationship stands after this episode. Kelly's incredibly hurt that um, Tiffany has moved on without her and that her role in, in Tiffany's life is up for grabs. And I feel like also too that what I found interesting in this particular episode and my personal life, because I've lost friends to relationships before and to uh, their life choices before, it's just um, I think a necessary episode to explain what actually happens at this point in our lives when we're this age, you know, like when we're yeah, in yeah. our 30s and like making choices that really define what your friendships will look like. Tiffany's baby shower was extra as fuck yes. by design. Yes. yes. One of the most fun things to do was have Amanda, who was also just gleeful to just be able gleeful. to do a photo shoot. To be, icon. Icon. To, to be an icon. To be an icon. To, to be an icon, to be Beyonce. To be Serena. Yes. To be Cardi B. It looked incredible. You know Amanda's gonna keep those baby shower pictures. Oh. And I'm like. They just use it you later? Not, you not pregnant. So what are you going to expect? But People are going to come into your house and be like, oh, you were them. pregnant. You just sit on them. <laughs> <laughs> well, the other big thing that we introduced in yeah. this episode mm. is Lawrence's storyline. Guess who's is back? back. Guess, Guess who's, who's back? back. Uh, so we decided to do a previously on montage, which I know was fun discussion yeah. in the room of just yeah. like being able to catch the audience on where he's been and what he's been up to. It was fun to talk about sort of because typically, like, before we start a season, we sort of talk about all of our characters, sort of what are they doing, what are the storylines, but this year, we obviously were talking more about Daniel, sort of the world that he occupied, so for us with Lawrence, it was challenging but refreshing to sort of talk about what has Lawrence really been up to, and the, kind of, the slate was kind of really open, you know, obviously we're tied to sort of where the season ended, yeah. but it was fun to talk about sort of, you know, what he's doing and where he is, and sort of where do we want him to go, you know, like, from here on. So... Mm -hmm. <laughs> This montage of seeing what Lawrence has been up to since, mm -hmm. you know, we last left him. Is that realistic? Like, is that what guys go through post-breakup, post... Yeah, I mean, I think, like, hurt. right now, yeah, I think he's definitely, like, not exercising some demons to some degree, but he's like, look, I'm single. I'm not, you know, post a partner. Like, I'm just, I'm just chilling. I'm just out here. I think the difference between last year and this year is last year he felt the hurt of Issa, it almost felt like he was trying to like really, really, really get it out. Like, I'm gonna fuck the hurt out of me. You right. know what I mean? Medicinal fucking. Right, I'm a, I'm a medicinal fucking. And this year, it's like, he's kind of like, I'm just out here. I'm just like, I don't have any of that energy to me, but I'm single, I'm a good looking dude. I'm making some money now, I'm out on the couch. It feels like a serial monogamous trying on what uh, just being out there is like. Cause mm -hmm. like you said, like the first time around, it was just like, I'm hurt. And this time it's just like, well, I've been in a relationship for so long, I don't know what it's like to just be out there. Right. And, and not have to do and that. And not have to do that. So it's, but it's tough with dudes. With yeah. dudes date, I don't, know, I don't know if it's like when you're wired, if, you're, if dudes are wired that way or not, but there is always that thing where you're like, oh, she cute. I oh, don't see if I try to You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> when you're, like when you're single and doing that, you know what I mean? I'm not, look, I'm not saying it's great. I'm just saying, it's like, yo, we at the club, that's, you know, cause dudes just don't go out with dudes that just, I mean, they go out to no, kick it, to but, but <laughs> women can go to a club friends. and just be like, we're just dancing with my girls. If dudes go out, like single dudes, it's like there's a mission. They, there's they, a mission. you try, you single, you try and go out and like be out there. Just not trying to like have fun, enjoy each other's. Just company. enjoy the night. If somebody don't go home <laughs> with some, and leave the group, 
It's a bust. Okay. In my single days, I've seen dudes where I was like, he could be in a ditch right now. I had no idea, but he went it. Because he not with the rest of us at Jerry's Deli eating pastrami. <laughs> He even did a fucking, but he went it on some side of that. As a fan of the show, like, I cannot wait uh, for the next episode to see, like, where... You know. I mean, I know, but they don't know that <laughs> I know, but I'm a fan of... I, okay. Let yeah. me have this. <laughs> As always, thank you for winding down with us, and see you next time. Cheers. 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 Cheers, cheers, cheers. cheers.